on the Bourne Bridge. We are first going to head to the Shining Sea bike path. So we're on a five day vacation. I'm so excited. We rode our bikes from Falmouth to Woods Hole and now we rode up here to the Knob. We're getting quite a workout here. There were so many hills on our bike to come up here. And now these stairs, awesome. Here is the knob. I've seen this picture tons of times on Instagram and also a few of my YouTube friends have made videos about this awesome place. We're almost here. Isn't this beautiful? I'm so excited to finally see it. And we will continue our way out to the knob. Look at that sky. Oh my gosh, in the ocean, I'm so happy. And now we have some more stairs to go up. Love this. Oh, I almost fell. I'm having to do a voiceover because the wind is very, very strong here. So here is Chris, he's up at the top, and here is me. <laughs> just rode up to the Knobska Lighthouse in Woods Hole. Now we're going to continue back to the Shining Sea bike path. We're at the Shining Sea bike path. Isn't this beautiful? So we've done 19.38 miles so far because we were riding around Woods Hole and out to the Knob. So now we are heading back and then we'll head over to our hotel. We rode 28 and a quarter miles. The bike path's about 21 and a half miles, but we got an extra few miles because we rode over to the Knob as well as Knobscot Lighthouse. The bike path has a few grades, but it's fairly flat. Once you get into Woods Hole and ride over to the Knob and the Lighthouse, there are lots of hills, and I'm telling you, it gave us a very good workout, and our legs were screaming afterwards. But if you're looking for a great day down the Cape, Check out the bike path, the lighthouse, and the knob. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace, love, and joy. Always be humble. Always be kind. Mm -hmm.